We already talked about how to solve the basic problems when it comes to work word problems. We talked about what to do when it comes to a missing helper. This time, we're going to talk about multiple jobs. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, this is part three ng ating series revamp sa work word problems. So if you haven't seen the other parts yet, inalink ko na lang din dito sa taas so you can catch up. Ngayon, multiple jobs naman yung pag-uusapan natin. And before we start the discussion, just a quick little plug, if you want to help support this channel and our cause, the democratized education here in the Philippines, you can do that by buying our merch sa shop.teamlaika.com. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat kasi yung mga proceeds dyan, they go to our Hope Fund, which helps us fund and support yung ating among scholars and also all of the projects that we have lined up for you. Marami salamat sa inyong support. Ta. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung ating third na video sa series natin on work problems. Again, we're revamping things. And uh, pag-uusapan natin ngayon kapag multiple yung jobs. Now, this is an example that we talked about in the first video. Pero if you notice, there's something na uh, magkaiba dito sa first problem na ito in which they work together and dito sa kahawig na problem na ito. This time, ang sabi, if they work together washing two cars, okay? At yung fact na may dalawang kotse, yan ay malaking pagkakaiba na doon sa magiging formula na gagamitin natin. But this is something that not a lot of people notice kapag sila ay nasa exam na. Hindi pansinin kasi kung nagmamadali at uh, sasabihin nung iba, kunyari, alam ko kung paano niyan isolve, uh, alam ko kung ano yung equation, they just look at this and this and then they solve away. Hindi nila napapansin itong pangalawang part na ito. And again, that changes everything. Just a quick recap dun sa ating formula. Again, ang breakdown niya ng ibig sabihin niyan. The first box right here, ito yung time it takes person A. Ito yung time it takes person B. Dito natin siya lalagay. Ito yung time na magkasama sila. And the reason why I put up a box like this dito, kasi inaabang na natin yan for this video. We're talking about the job. Anong job yon? If, sabi, si Elisa daw, tsaka si Darian, again, shout out sa inyo, ginamit ko yung name, ay may three hours si Elisa mag-isa. So, lalagay natin dito. Si Darian naman, may six hours siya mag-isa. Lagay natin siya dito. Pag magkasama sila, nawawala. Pero this time, dahil nakalagay, they are working together, washing two cars, ibig sabihin nun, instead of one, lalagay natin dito ay two. Now, bakit ito mahalaga? Kasi bababago niya mamaya yung gagawin natin dito. Okay? Magkakaiba yung sagot, kasi yung equality iba na. Now, isolve muna natin siya. LCD natin, three at six, that would be six. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1. Magiging 2 ito. Ito, 6 divided by 6 is the same, times 1. Kasi nga, pareho lang din naman yun. 1 over 6. X is equal to 2. So, now we have 3 over 6 X is equal to 2. Or, kung ilulowest terms natin siya, pwede natin gawing 1 over 2. Tapos, imumultiply natin siya sa reciprocal, kabaliktaran, 2 over 1, para makancel natin ito totally. Maiiwan na ngayon yung x is equal to 2 times 2 or 4. Now, you notice, if you watched yung video natin nung first time, ang sagot natin is just 2 hours. Ngayon, 4 na lang. Which makes sense kasi nga dalawang kotse na yung hinuhugasan nila. Now, if you want to use yung speed technique, it's going to be the same, but you will have to multiply the end result by 2. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Sabi natin, if dalawa lang yung, nahan, dalawa lang yung nag, uh, tutulong, ito lang ang hinahanap. This is the basest form ng problem. Pwede natin gawin na isulat na lang natin yung 3, tsaka yung 6. Tapos, una natin gagawin is to multiply them. 3 times 6 is 18. Tapos, i-divide natin siya dun sa sum nila. So, 3 plus 6 naman is 9. The answer here would be 2. Pero hindi pa yan ang final answer, imumultiply ko pa ito sa 2, talabas 4, which is the same as this one. Okay? But again, if you are in school right now, this is the type of solution that your teacher would look for. Okay? 
Now, na, alam natin na this will make all the difference, we're going to switch things up naman. We're going to do our quick quiz, but I want you to be mindful about every word na nandun sa mga tanong. Kasi magbabago yung sitwasyon. We're going to use yung concepts na ginamit natin mula sa first video, second video, hanggang dun sa mga discuss natin sa video na ito. Okay? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Let's see how you did. Ito muna tayo. Sabi, it takes Diana six hours to clean the house. Leslie takes eight hours to do the same thing. If they clean three houses together, how long would they take? So, isulat na natin, okay? Si Diana, six. Natin ito, six. Si Leslie naman ay eight by, by herself. So, eight ito. Pag magkasama sila, magiging X. At this time, sabi, they are going to clean three houses. Okay? Now, very important to note na yung 6 ay for isang house lang ito, ang equivalent niyan. Kasi the, sabing the, ang articles natin, may sabihin nun isa lang. Um, pag 8, the same thing. So again, isang bahay lang din ito. Kasi if in case dalawang bahay or tatlong bahay yung ginagamit, the 6 hours, mag manipulate pa natin siya. For example, kung sinabi niya, 6 hours siyang naglilinis nag, uh, ng dalawang bahay, ibig sabihin nun, i-divide ko pa yun sa 2. Para makuha kayong rate kapag isang bahay lang. Okay? So again, you have to really read every word dito sa mga problems na ito. And now that we have that, wala naman ng difference yung dun sa mga given. Ang sabi lang 3 houses, lagyan natin dito 3. And then we're going to solve for X na. Ang kanilang uh, LCD, 8 and 6, uh, that would be uh, 8, 16, hindi pwede 24. Okay? So kung 24... 24 divided by 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, that is 4 times 1, 4. 
plus 24 divided by 8, that would be 3 times 1, so 3 ito. Now, kung medyo naguluhan kayo doon, medyo mabilis, uh, again, panoorin nyo muna yung part 1 ng series na ito. It's the same concept. Gagawin lang natin kung ano man yung LCD, hindi divide mo lang sa, sa denominator. So, 24 divided by 6 is 4, tapos i-multiply natin sa numerator times 1. This is the basics ng transforming fractions, which we already discussed in earlier videos. Again, the playlists for everything will be in the description, tsaka sa i button din. Okay, so we have 4 plus 3 over 24, yung quantity na yan, times x is equal to, and again, be careful here, this time it's 3. Okay? Plus 7 over 24x is equal to 3. Hindi naman natin pwede i lowest terms yan. Wala na silang common na uh, factor. So, ganyan na yan. As is na yan. I-multiply na natin ngayon both sides by the reciprocal 24 over 7. Okay? Makakancel ito. May iwan yung x. x is equal to 3 times, kasi kung i-multiply ko siya dito, dapat i-multiply ko rin siya doon, 3 times 24 over 7. So, kung 24 times 3, uh, kasi gagawin lang natin, pagtatapat-tapat rin lang naman natin siya. 24 times 3 is going to give us 72 over 7. Okay? Or, this is 10, kasi 10 hours and 2 over 7. Okay? So, 10 and 2 over 7 hours. Or, kung kailangan kong uh, gawin na uh, minutes yan, multiply ko lang sa 60 yung 2 over 7. That's going to give me 10 and 17, around 17 minutes. So, 10 hours and 17 minutes. Okay? Now, again, if you want na, ano siya, maging, uh, gamitin natin yung speed technique, kung hindi naman kailangan ng solution, it's the same thing. You have 6, you have 8. First thing that we're going to do is to multiply them. 6 times 8 is 48. Tapos, i-add natin sila. 48 over, this is 14. Okay? Or, i kung palilitin natin, this is 24 over 7. Okay? So, 24 over 7 times 3, ito lang din ang lalabas. It's the same answer. Okay? So, again, it's going to be the same. Just don't forget to multiply it by the number of jobs. Okay, so ito yung question number 2. Sabi, it takes Charles 4 hours. So, ibig sabihin nun, mag-isa siya for to stock an inventory at isa lang yung inventory na yan. Si Dan takes 10 hours, same thing. So, again, one inventory lang. Edgar does the same in half the time. Napag-usapan na natin ito, half ng 10. So, dapat 5 na lang si Edgar. And, ang sabi, if they all were together to stock an inventory twice, ito na yun, twice the size of the regular one. So, ibig sabihin nun, hindi lang natin dadagdagan ng isang fraction, ang mangyayari pa is yung size ng job ay magiging double nung regular na job niya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, if fill in lang natin yung mga information na yan, this first box will be 4, the next box would be 10, the next box would be 5, pero tunay nasa dulo. Okay? Nakunin natin yung LCD, that would be 20 divided by 4 is 5 uh, times 1. This is going to be 2. This is going to be 4. Okay? X is equal to 2. Now we have 5 plus 2, which is 7 plus 4, 11 over 20. X is equal to 2. Multiply we'll on both sides by the reciprocal, the reciprocal 20 over 11. Maka-cancel natin ito. We will be left with X is equal to 2 times 20 over 11 or 40 over 11. Okay? So, ang magiging sagot natin would be 3 and 7 over 11 hours. Okay? So, again, itong mga malilita details na yan, they can make or break your answer. Kaya, make sure that you pay attention sa kung ano yung binigay ng teacher, ano yung binigay sa problem if you're taking a test, at mag-ingat kayo sa pagsusolve sa kanila. Okay? Kasi, yung isang digit na yan can throw your entire equation off. Okay? And I hope you got both, both of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Team Laika on Instagram and at Laika Maravilla naman for my personal um, na account. Uh, that's where I post my quotes, uh, photos, updates, and stuff like that. Yung quick quiz natin nasa uh, story function ng Instagram. 
may mga quiz kasi doon so you can tap on the answer that you think is right tapos malalaman nyo right away kung tama o mali and if you're on TikTok naman you can find me uh, at Team Laika for the math and English na lessons uh, for free that you can watch maikli lang yun 1 to 3 minutes lang sa TikTok and eh, doon naman sa motivational videos advice at personal stuff you can find me at Laika Marvelia on TikTok Okay, guys, see you online. All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Salo nakong mag-exam din sila. That way, mas salamit tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. And subscribe na kung di ka pa nakasubscribe. Hit that bell kasi marami pa tayo mga lessons na papadating. I would hate for you to miss those. And thank you for watching. As we always see sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya niyan, I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.